<laughs> I'm Rob Aldridge and I'm a doctor in the NHS as well as a researcher at University College London. And the team I work for are interested in studying diseases like influenza and tuberculosis. And essentially most of our research is trying to stop people from getting infected with these sorts of diseases in the first place. An epidemiologist is someone who looks at who gets diseases, why they get it, and then once they understand these things, we then try and understand how we can prevent people from getting these diseases in the first place. So research has previously shown that schools may be useful in detecting outbreaks, but the studies that have been done so far were quite small and only involved a few number of schools. This project is all about getting lots of schools across the country involved and really answering that question, can school absence data be used to detect flu outbreaks earlier than we can at the moment? Once you, we had the idea, we had to find some way of funding this project. So we wrote to the Wellcome Trust with our idea and fortunately they thought it was a good idea too and gave us some money to go ahead and do this research. The next step after we got the funding was to get ethical approval for the project. Obviously as scientists we have to make sure that everything that we're doing is ethical. So the University College London Ethics Committee looked at our project, looked at the idea and made sure that everything we do did was ethically okay. The research project that we're organising actually has the potential to help people in the real world. People that get influenza, some of them actually are quite unwell and unfortunately a few even die as a result of it. This re the research project is going to allow us to potentially detect flu outbreaks in the community earlier and then go out and do something about it at a stage in the disease and the outbreak than we at an earlier stage in the disease or outbreak than we've previously been able to. So once we've collected all the data, the next thing we'll do is start analysing it. Once we've analysed the data, we'll have some results and we'll know whether school absence data can be used to detect flu outbreaks. And the next step in that is going out and telling other scientists and other researchers about our findings so that they can look at what we found and we'll have a, a debate about whether it does tell us the right or the wrong answer. And, um, that will involve going to conferences and giving presentations in front of people and ultimately what we hope, if it's, if it's a success, we'll want to continue and, and improve on the system that we've set up for, for detecting outbreaks of flu in the community. The coolest place I've ever been is um, Machu Picchu in Peru which is this old Inca settlement at the top of a mountain and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I walked up that mountain at 5am in the morning and saw the sunrise. It, it was a, a really impressive moment. I'm sure that the Incas did get flu. We, we, it'd be pretty difficult to work out or, or prove that because um, we'd need samples, but I'm sure they, that flu was around then in one of its forms, maybe not the same strains that we have now.